Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. I have some information for you regarding the duality play that uh, it's a little hard to understand or accept right now, but it's, it's, it's helpful from the pers airport, airport perspective, okay? For those that are able to create the kind of neutral mind that perceives them, their, their body as, as being the body of light or the magnificent soul, that huge, that huge entity, a magnificent entity enacting a tiny play or skit in the physical reality, then this will be all right for those that are like stuck in body consciousness right now, which you know most people, uh, it won't be all right. So it's like this: romance. Romance is uh, sticking together of the soul wounding of two people, and the the. Uh, divine plan for romance, for human romance, is to heal the soul wounding. Unfortunately, uh, very often the human plan is to increase the soul wounding, moving from being to being and increasing one's own soul wounding. Soul wounding itself is like uh, in the electromagnetic field, pluses and minuses uh, because of like the crinkling of the etheric net, net at the soul wounding site. So, there's an attraction. It's like a key in a lock, kind of. Only you imagine that in your, um, in your etheric net, there are many keys sticking out and many uh, like keyholes sticking in. And when you find someone that you're one and only, that's a person with the opposite, the opposite keys and the opposite keyholes. And these two fit together. The etheric nets stick together at the soul wounding points. For a person who has healed that soul wounding, there are no key, key, keys sticking out and there are no keyholes. The, the etheric net is very smooth and in shape. Um, so, so what is happening during the awakening process is that couples, couples who have this, this interlocking feature going on of soul wounding, one of them, either the man or the woman, will clear, will receive the codes, the downloads of cosmic light during the gateways that Sandra Walter talks about. She keeps, uh, in her Light Intel articles, she keeps us informed of those gateways. Keeping in mind that the gateway dates that she offers can be uh, a little bit larger uh, than, than what she says, depending on the subset of people involved, the subset of souls. Or it might be a little smaller. Or some souls might miss the gateway. But frequently what happens is that um, they get the codes. Most people get the codes. And it may or may not be right on their timeline for them to download the codes. What decides that is whether or not they've optimized their timelines. And in case you've missed that part, it goes like this. When the gateways take place, you say, or any time that you feel that it's important that you receive the code, you say, spirit to team, optimize timelines for the all through free will. Okay? You only have to say it once. Don't miss any of the words. If you want to miss the words, that has to do with your own soul wounding. It's very important to include all the words. Okay? Okay? Because this is like the absolute bare minimum here. Spirit to team. Optimize timelines for the all through free will. And then there you are at the gate, right? <clears throat> Possibly coupled with somebody else in soul wounding. And there you are at the gate. And, and you receive your codes if it's the right time. Otherwise, they're stored. They're there. They're in your great, massive body of light, in your magnificent soul, in your airport, they're there, okay? But you haven't yet unfurled them into your etheric net, all right? So, so anyway, um, let's say you and your hubby, right, are, are sitting there in the, in the lion's gate, which is the case right now. The lion's gate is like the fiery gate of, of code downloading of all time. <laughs> 
happens in early August, right, every year. And, and we're going through, it's like the lion roaring grace down into Earth from other constellations. And so, so you got your codes, but are you going to unfold them or not? If you both optimized, and if it's time, then you both, they'll both unfold your co- co- unfurl your codes into your etheric net, and your soul wounding is healed. But, but typically, the way it's been playing out uh, since 2012 is that one person in a couple will optimize or will just somehow, by God's grace, get the codes unfurled and, and get the, the etheric net fixed. And then they, the, the two of them need to separate physically. Um, there's no longer the attraction for the person uh, that is that is still soul wounded to be with the person that is soul healed, and that is because the keys and the like keyholes don't fit anymore. They go off looking for someone who has soul wounding similar to what yours used to be. Um, so that's the the state of divine romance when it's furrowed down into the third dimension it turns into that um once we get our soul wounding like spiffed up fixed up and our body of light all back together then you we will find that all the people that that are in that that we meet in that mode in the fifth dimension uh don't have soul wounding and they all get along just great you know so that's something to look forward to um so, so that's that's the state of divine romance in this rather uh, dense reality. It's not what it's not like the stories in Disneyland. <laughs> it's it has to do with the lack of light. Yeah, that's what it's about. So um, you may find, for instance, uh, some people find that they're especially husbands, uh, men, uh, whether or not they're married, men are having a great difficulty at this time with repression of emotions, which is a cultural feature of this age. And, uh, And sometimes it expresses itself, quite frequently it expresses itself through acting out. Um... As the, um, as the lower mental body becomes obvious to the higher mental body of a man, um, the, the, um, these tightly repressed emotional bubbles of electromagnetic field discrepancy or disparity in the, in the lower mental body are straining to be released. And they, as they burst open, they can um, they can uh, activate encapsulated rage or desire to to rape or like that. Especially in men who have a higher uh, extent of aggressiveness than women do in their repressed emotions. Keeping in mind that you and I, if we were women, we were not long ago in male incarnation as well. So so it seems to me, so the problem with men is that they're acting out, that they're stepping out into behaviors that they've never ever done before, such as killing and raping and maiming and all that stuff, you know. And, and it takes a very wise man, a very neutral mind, to avoid that behavior during the shift. Uh, so if you're one of those who has... Enacted those behaviors. Think of yourself as the light airport. Okay. Think of yourself as the great light, being of light, and then look at those behaviors, and then you can proceed onward with your awakening process without too much to do about that. Okay. All right. But do try not to act out. It it just it it creates trouble. It creates trouble in your relationship. You won't be able to have that relationship anymore. And it creates trouble with, like, the legal system and the societal expectations. It just creates trouble for you and your own consciousness, too. So just do your best. But for men, it's very, 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 very difficult. I understand that. So women, 
If you're in relationship during this time, I think it's very important to understand that your men may not be acting as they usually do. Okay, they may undertake these these, these behaviors that are unthinkable to you and that have never happened before in your relationship. You have to be ready. You have to be ready to protect your own life and your children's lives. You have to have that fail-safe plan in place. Let it not have to do with other people. Let, let you find a safe place in your home or a safe place outside of your home where you can be without worrying about electromagnetic field entanglement with other human beings as they sort this situation out, okay? Just, just, just know that it's going to be all right. Develop that neutral mind and that ready stance that the martial artist has. You're going to need it. You're going to need it invariably. All right, And you need to provide that kind of support for your spouse that you would anyway uh, in the normal times, even though you're finding that their behavior becomes uh, unexplainable to you. Still send them that love, but distance yourself physically so that you and your children can be safe. Yeah, there will be a way to do that. To do with the codes... Right, we came to the situation where uh, um, a man and a woman in relationship were standing in the lion's gate, like right now, and one of them, and both of them optimized. That's a perfect situation, or and and one of them downloaded the codes right now. Right, the other one has the codes sitting there in their soul field, ready to um, ready to download whenever the opportunity arises, if they've optimized then for their optimal timeline, it's not quite the time yet. But for the woman who has, uh, typically the woman who has received those downloads, probably because she needs them for self-protection for her children, too. Um, she was, so the women are receiving them first quite frequently, it seems, at least in my subset of humankind. And so, so they're clear. And so their man takes some time to get clear. If the two people have not optimized their timelines, then the likelihood is that they're, that they're increasing their soul wounding through their relationship. They're, they're getting more and more jangle in their electromagnetic field as the light comes in. So because their electromagnetic field is so like uh, loud, and discordant in its energy. It can't accept those codes yet. They're there. It can't accept them. When they calm down, when at a time of when they're asleep or at a time when just the soul wounding is not ratcheting back and forth too much, then during that time, they'll get the downloads. Uh, or, or at a time when they pray for them and ask for them, then they'll get the downloads. They're sitting there. It's like it's like on your computer when you, when, you, know, you get the Windows downloads and it says, are you willing to 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 install these downloads, these these updates yet? You know, you keep putting it off, right? <laughs> then one day you go bite the bullet, right? <laughs> okay, I'm ready to install those updates. <laughs> yeah, for men who are uh, have installed the most massive early updates. Um, you'll find there are not a lot of men who have done that, and it, I would say it wouldn't hurt at all to make the acquaintance of those men who have and to form, at least on the astral plane, a, a camaraderie club where you can compare notes and uh, ongoing and see how to deal with other men who are still expressing aggressive drives through, uh, through acting out. That can be a danger to you and to your families. So... Um, I met a very, very young uh, person who impressed me immensely. He's a man, young man, very young, uh, at a store, at a retail store yesterday who, who was right there with it. And I have met another man in his, um, maybe his 30s, who's, who's right there with the intuition and all of that right now, too. So I know there are men like that out there who are doing that. All right. <sighs> Many. Many, many men. I met, uh, there's someone that I've known for years and years who came up with this incredible download during the, uh, during the Lionsgate as well. Completely different 
aspect on the astral plane now. Completely different. It's terrific. Really terrific. And women ongoing receiving downloads as well, both men and women, through the lion's gate, that, that roaring grace of the divine. So I'm coming up with a question right now. How can men who are acting out because their emotions are so repressed because of societal expectations, how can they quickly get through the process uh, without acting out any further? Uh, and I don't know really what the modalities are out there, perhaps behavioral psychology for releasing those bubbles of emotion. Uh, so the wives and, my, and girlfriends might want to look into that possibility and present it as, a, as maybe a shortcut for, for changing the acting out behaviors. And uh, the only other thing I have is body sense because the bubbles that are repressed energy in the electromagnetic field, typically in the area of the tummy, of the abdomen, um, and a little bit lower at the bottom of the torso, uh, and a little bit beyond the bottom of the torso and around like that, uh, outside. Um, if you can sense physical discomfort uh, in the lower body or around it, then stick with that sensation. Don't avoid it. Then it will resolve. So there's that as a meditational healing technique as well. And that's all I have for you in the Lion's Gate right now. I wish you a wonderful uh, changes and updates. and <laughs> may, may your soul be completely healed by a few days from now, <laughs> right away.